Okay, so here's another one of the problems that we've had this year with the crazy uh, winter freeze. Now, yes, I know I've got a pile of weeds and that's giving me another problem with grasshoppers and things eating my fruit trees, but we're working on that. We got a lot of it cleared out. There's a little bit left. You can see, if you look right over there, there's a grasshopper, a big one, like about that big, sitting on a grass stem. But these two big oak trees, I think they were about to bud out and shoot leaves out. And then it frost, or the cold snap hit. And so on this branch alone, you can see all that. Every bit of it below, right here, is dead. So the tree has had enough life in it up here further where it's starting to shoo it out new growth. All the way so here. on this one, there's life here, but the rest of that branch is dead. So as you can see, it looks like a lovely tree. And this tree is probably older than I am. This isn't the only tree that's happened to you. There's another one right over here. And more of the same. You can see all the dead stuff that... There might have been some of it there before. Some of these lower ones were dead before. But this tree suffered some of the same. Some of it hadn't popped out. But yet, there's another one over here behind that uh, fruitless mull... Or hackberry. Hackberry is the closest one, the uh, oak tree behind it. Yes, you can go ride your bike. I thought you were going to say, love you, see you, bye first. And then, so, that's a dilemma. Now i got to cut these things back and have more stuff to burn because, you know, we've got dead tree branches everywhere. So we'll slowly start knocking at this. Maybe I'll give you an update video after we've done some of this on this tree. Obviously, I'm not going to try to... Get way up there. Some of it I can get to, some of it I can't. And all the new growth is only about foot to two foot long, what, 30 to 60 centimeters shooting out from the tree or where there was life. The rest of it's just sitting dead. Sad. Hopefully we'll keep them alive. We're going to try what we can. But anyway, yeah, we've gotten a little bit more rain this year. We're thankful for it, but that just means... Lots of weeds, lots of grass. So we gotta get the mower over here and cut that again. Nice thing is we got a uh, a mower that the kids like to use. It's an electric powered, so they enjoy doing it. And it's as soon as you release the handle, it stops instantly. So I'm not concerned about them. However, you know, as a responsible adult, I'm not letting them play with it when I'm not around. So I'm out here when they're doing it. I don't know if you can hear the mower going. It is a silent one, but when it's whacking weeds or the tall grass over there, it uh, still makes some noise. Anyway, here's those uh, citrus that I trimmed up. They've grown another good five, six inches. So 15 to 20 centimeters since I last did the pruning on them. So I need to get them pruned and straightened up some more, keep them growing. This one right here is almost to three feet tall, and that's even being in the ground. So and we'll find these guys' homes in here in the yard, and we'll keep you posted, keep you updated. Hope you're all staying safe out there. Be smart. When you're around lots of people, wear appropriate protection. That's all I'm going to say. Y'all stay safe out there. We love you. See you. Bye.